He has to work with a Democratic legislature. What common ground does he find with them? He doesn't get a great deal of his own personal agenda through, though he does do some things in education that Democrats mostly agreed with. He also presided over the unification of the University of North Carolina system and making sure the early years of that unified system were were operating properly. He made some changes in the administrative branch that didn't require legislative approval, changes in the administration of programs such as uh, Health and Human Services. But for the most part, Holzhauser started out with an agenda, not very much support in the legislature. Then you get to 1974. Nixon is impeached. Ford comes in. 1974 is a disaster for the Republicans. <laughs> if, if Governor Holzhauser lacked Republican allies in the legislature before, to give you a picture of what happened afterwards, there are 50 members of the North Carolina Senate. After the 74 election cycle, there was precisely one Republican left. Oh, my word. 49 to, to, to <laughs> 1. Now, some of those Democrats were uh, conservative. Holzhauser was able to work with them to some degree. But really, I think Holzhauser's policy influence was less about bills passed and more giving experience to young uh, previously inexperienced Republican office holders, people who were cabinet secretaries or staff members who were involved in the Holzhauser administration that would go on to be involved in the subsequent Jim Martin administration or run for office and get elected themselves in various offices. So I think his administration changed politics largely because of the personnel that were involved in it, less so about the actual bills that were enacted during his four years.